Hey everyone, so today we're doing something a little bit different, and that is fixing up a knife. So one of my work colleagues uh, actually gave me this knife to, to work on and to fix. And we, we got onto it because we were talking about kitchen knives and Japanese kitchen knives. And he said that he has one in terrible condition. And so this is it. So if we have a look at it, it's a pretty nice Santoku knife. Um, it's got a Damascus steel pattern, looks like VG10 steel. Uh, and it's got a buffalo horn um, collet and also a nice wooden handle. And there's quite a lot of damage here. The tip is chipped off, there's a lot of little cracks and nicks out of the edge. The buffalo horn is cracked as well, and the handle is its just not in nice shape. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a lot of damage to the edge. A lot of nicks to it. And so my aim for today, and probably tomorrow and maybe next weekend as well, is going to be to try and wick some super glue into the, into the buffalo horn, sand it back, try and clean up the handle, and try and bring that edge back to true so that it's nice and it's sharp. So to start with, let's see how sharp it is. I'm going to do the paper test on it and we'll see if it can actually cut anything. Right, so I've got a piece of newspaper and it actually cuts pretty well. There's a little bit of resistance when it gets to the nicks, but the edge itself is actually not too bad. But I think it's just that the, there's so many nicks out of the blade that it makes, so that it makes it difficult to cut things like vegetables and softer materials. So I think if we bring it back to true, then it should actually be a beautiful knife to use. So that looks like it's gone nicely into the crack and we'll just let that dry and then we'll sand it back. Alright, so I've sanded back the buffalo horn. It looks nice and it's smooth. There's no lip where the crack was anymore. But this handle's still kind of furry. It sort of lost its sheen, so we're going to sand this back and then we'll hit the whole thing with some wax. Alright, so now I've got the handle and the collet all smooth, sanded, it's all level, it feels good in the hand. Um, I'm going to hit it with Renaissance wax a little bit later, but I think I will sharpen it first. So today I'm going to be working on the diamond stone, and because it's not a wet stone, then I don't have any water going through it. So all of that dust is going to be in the air. So if you're doing something like this, please use a respirator. Alright, so the bulk of the work has been done on it and most of the nicks and chips are out. I think the rest will come out with its final polish. But now we've got to address the tip. So the tip has been snapped off and there's a pretty rough burr here. So I'm going to take a file and I'm going to try and smooth that over.
All right, so the tip has been done. It's rounded over so that it won't break again, and it's smooth to touch. So after the sharpening, then there's no nicks or any uh, chips out of the blade. And so then doing the paper test, it cuts fantastically. This is how it should be. No nicks or anything to interfere with the, the cutting of it. Alrighty, so now everything to do with the blade is pretty much done. We'll give it a wash and a clean, and we might oil it a little bit with some edible oil. But the handle is still pretty rough, so we're going to finish this up with wax, and then that'll be it for the knife. So just some folded up tissue, some Renaissance wax, not too much, just enough to cover it, and that's it. So after a bit of buffing and polishing, then you can see there's a really nice shine to the buffalo horn. It doesn't look so dull and drab. And the handle, it's not got that dull look to it. It's got a light satin finish to it, and it feels really nice in the hand. So I think I'm just going to wash this knife, and then this will be done. So I hope my co-worker likes it. Hopefully he'll treat it better this time, and it won't end up in the same state that it came to me in. Because it's really sad when I see a lot of knives with chips and cracks in them. So. Hopefully this will have a good future ahead of it. Alright, so that's it for today's video. It's not a drastic um, reconstruction. It's not like I've changed it. I've just given it another life so that hopefully it becomes more usable and nicer to use in the kitchen. And hopefully it'll stay this way. So with that, I'll see you next time.